What's going on, YouTube? If you clicked on this video, I'm guessing you're in need of a jump shot. No need to worry. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best jump shots for all builds in 2K23. So whether you're under 6'5", 6'5", to 6'9", or even above 6'10", I will have you covered and I will have a jump shot for you. Not only will I be showing you guys the best jump shots, but I'll also be showing you guys the best shooting badges as well as best settings to use to never miss again. So make sure to watch the entire video and don't skip anything because you don't want to miss anything important but before we get right into the video please make sure to like and subscribe it helps me out so much and we're on the road to 10k the first thing i want to show you guys are the best shooting settings and to change these settings all you have to do is go to controller settings and the first thing we're going to change is the shot meter this year the shot meter isn't that bad however i recommend trying to get used to shooting without it because if you can you will become way more consistent and just a better overall shooter the next thing is the shot timing release time people use different timings for this however i found that the best one to use is early this changes when in the jump shot you have to release the ball to green it and after trying all of the settings i realized that early is just the best and easiest to time vibration is really up to you and then the the rest of these settings don't really change much for shooting so that's really all you need for the settings however you do want to try and get used to these because once you do you'll notice a drastic difference in how well you shoot and it'll be so much easier now that we have the best settings out of the way let me show y'all the best badges to use the first badge is going to be agent three this badge essentially lets you shoot fades from anywhere on the court and even standstill shots it pops up so this is definitely a must-have badge in this game it helps you out so much especially when you are a guard the next badge is going to be green machine this badge has been in the game for years and basically whenever you green one shot the next shot is going to be easier to green and this keeps multiplying until you miss so if you green all of your shots in the game by the end of the game it'll be almost impossible to miss after green machine we have volume shooter there are a lot of mixed feelings about this badge however i like to use it especially when i'm running guard because the more shots you shoot the easier it becomes to make them so if you're a guard and taking a lot of shots per game i definitely recommend having this on after that we have amped this is super important this year because whenever you're low on stamina this helps you still be able to make the shot and since stamina is awful this year you definitely want to have it on so when you're low on stamina you don't have to worry about missing your shot now after that arguably one of the most important badges we have limitless range unless you're a spot up in corner you 100 want to have this badge on on any build because otherwise you'll only be able to shoot with your feet on the line and with it on you can create more space and shoot from anywhere basically when you have this on you can shoot from way farther away from the three-point line and you'll you'll just get contested way less if you have it on after that i have space creator on a lot of people don't use this badge however i've seen that it is pretty effective especially when shooting off dribble shots so if you are a guard that likes to dribble a lot i would definitely put this on and then for my last badges i have on blinders and dead eye however you can really put on anything you want if you're a spot up you'll definitely want to put on catch and shoot as well as corner specialist because those will help you green a bunch of shots off the catch but if you are a guard with the defender always in your face i definitely recommend having on blinders and dead eye now that you guys have the best badges i'm going to show you all the best jump shot for all builds under six foot five and then after that we're going to go over the best jump shots for six five to six nine and then after that six foot ten and up but once we're in the jump shot creator for the base you have two options if you have a 91 three or over the best base in my opinion is stephen curry this is one of the fastest bases in the game and it is super easy to green especially when you have the right releases to go with it if you don't get up to a 91 three and you can't get steph curry base what you want to use is going to be Lamelo ball Lamelo ball base is another great base and is very easy to time however it's a little bit slower than base curry so if you can get that that's what i would go with now for the releases you can go with either oscar robertson or you can use dwayne wade on my guard i use dwayne wade because it's just easier to time for me since there is more of a visual cue but like i said it's all personal preference so i encourage you to try out new releases and find out what you like now for upper release two we're also going to go with dwayne wade just because it's clean and just keeps it simple for the speed we're obviously going to max it out because we want as fast of a jump shot as possible that way we have a less chance of getting contested when the defender's close and for the blending you can really go with anything it doesn't matter since both of the releases are the same it doesn't matter and it won't change it now if you're six foot five to six foot nine this is the best jump shot that you want to use 
I've used a lot of different things this year. However, this is by far the best one I've found. Once again, you can use base Lamello Ball. However, I, along with some other people, have found that base O'Shaver set is faster. And although the timing impact is lower, it is just as easy to time. Once again, it is your preference, but after switching to O'Shaver set base, I've never gone back. And for the releases, we're gonna be using the one and only Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay has been using jump shots since the dawn of time and is still one of the best ones to use to this day. It's extremely easy to time and is very easy to know when to release. Oscar Robertson is another great one this year, but with my experience, I shoot much better with double Rudy Gay. And so like I just said, our upper release two is also gonna be Rudy Gay just cause it keeps it simple and I think just looks way better. For the speed, just like the last jumper, we're gonna max it out. That way it is as fast as possible and hopefully we won't get contested. Base O'Shea Brissett is basically Steph Curry base for taller builds. So with this jump shot, you will catch the defender off guard a lot of the time. Also, just like the last jump shot, the blending can be anything, but I'm just gonna leave it at 50-50 because that's the default. But like I said, the blending can be anything. No matter what you put it at, it won't change it. And there is our jump shot for all builds six foot five to six foot nine. Like I said, I tried out a bunch of other jumpers, but this is what I liked best. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Now let's move on to the six foot 10 and up jumper. And now I'm gonna show you guys what most of you are probably waiting for. I'm on my six foot 10 ISO build and this jump shot you can use on all bigs that are above six foot 10. I play on this build every single time I stream and I constantly have people begging me for this jump shot. Shout out to my guy vein 2 k on all socials. He gave me this jump shot and it is absolutely chicken. Now, just like our last jump shot, our base is going to be O'Shea Brissett. Like I said, this is basically Stephen Curry base for taller builds. And honestly, this is probably the fastest base that you can get on any tall build. It is super easy to time, super easy to know when to release. And I definitely recommend having this base on. You can try and find something else but this is what I definitely recommend. Now for our releases, you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but the first one we're going with is Marvin Bagley the third. Now when he told me to put this on, I was actually thinking he was joking, but now that I used it, it's actually crazy. It's super easy to release. I couldn't find any releases that released the ball in front of my face, but this pair with the next release makes it super easy to time and super easy to release. So your first release is gonna be Marvin Bagley the third. And our second one is actually going to be DeAndre Ayton. Our release speed is going to be an A+, which is the fastest you can get on a 6'10 build and up. So if you want a faster jump shot and you are a tall build and you're tired of slow jump shots, you definitely want to have these releases paired with this base. I couldn't imagine having a fast jump shot on a tall build like this. So when I found out about this jump shot, I couldn't resist. And just like every other jump shot we've shown today, our release speed is going to be maxed out and our animation blending is going to be 50-50. You can change the animation blending. This time it'll actually change something because since our releases are different, you can change it to how you like, but I found that 50-50 is the best to go with. If you guys made it to this point, I appreciate you so much. Like I said in the last video, we're getting super close to a partner on YouTube. So whenever you guys watch the entire video, it helps me out way more than you even know. If you still haven't subbed yet, please make sure to. I post multiple videos a week and love to provide y'all with content. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to like the video. Let's try and hit 70 likes on this video. And if you do, I really appreciate it. And finally, let me know what you guys think of these jump shots if you end up using one of them. And also let me know what future videos you guys wanna see from me. I love reading all my comments and I try to respond to all of them. So if you have anything you wanna say, don't hesitate hesitate at all that's pretty much all i gotta say i appreciate you guys i love y'all and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day i'll see y'all in the next video